Hello, nice people. I'm not a bug weaver's salesman, but you can take it. You can take me as a bug weaver's salesman because I am a volunteer bug weaver's salesman myself. I believe. It is my most or second favorite bug river hunting knife. Loveless drop point hunter. Its handle is super excellent. Its blade length is just right for Japanese shika deer. Its belly curvature is just right to get back straps very carefully. It makes a very nice sorrowing meat. But I reground it from the spine. It had a micro bevel. Pink Jiden. I love it very much. Osage Orange. It also had a micro bevel. Its first production run. The logo is near the spine. Same first production run. The logo is near the spine. Nice handle. It's my most favorite wood handle. Desert ironwood. I have three pieces of desert ironwood handle. This wood never shrinks. I think this wood is relatively heavy. Pretty dependable wood. Desert ironwood. I recently love this wood very much. Anyway, as you can see, it, this regrinding is from a low line, lower than these two uh, first production one. This micro bevel was weak. As you can see, this logo is from low line here. different. No first production run written. First production run. Second one is better. And I am a big fan of Bug River wood handles. I picked up this one. Bokote. Red liners. No first production run. And the logo position is low. It's a second production run. First I noticed this handle is very thick. Please compare with this my most favorite handle. Much thicker. Barki. I mean, this palm swing is thicker. Very different feel in the hand. This portion is also thicker. Kind of hand feeling. Very different feel in the hand. Anyway, this bokote with red liners. Very beautiful handle. Bokote, yellow wood, Osage orange, 
orange wood. Hmm. The both look yellow, similar coloration, but different wood and uh, very different handle thickness. Anyway, it's okay. And the most impressive thing I felt was its edge construction. It has a complete zero grind convex edge, no micro bevel. I was amazed. This knife has no micro bevel at all. I'll show you through this device. You will be amazed too. I don't know if you know about this micro bevel issue. Currently, in a couple of years, Bark River has continued to put a micro bevel on many of their knives, but this one doesn't have any micro bevel at all. It's awesome. I'm understanding. They once decreased their quality control, but now they are increasing their quality control again. And now it is the perfect one. Handle is thicker, but uh, it's a matter of uh, my own preference. No problem. Uh, larger hand owner will rub this one better. Anyway, I am a volunteer uh, Bug River salesman, so please pardon me. Thanks for watching. I will add a short video of this edge finery. See you. Bye bye. I meet this edge, this factory made zero grain convex edge, after a long time. I am very very happy now. This is the Bark River edge. I love it.